We'll sing together the first two verses of 2.10.
one section was made up of Sadducees and the other of Pharisees. So he called out in the Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin, Brothers, I am a Pharisee and the son of Pharisees. This is for our hope in the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. As soon as he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was split between the two parties. For the Sadducees say there is neither resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, while the Pharisees accept all three. The shouting grew louder, and some of the scribes from the Pharisees' party stood up and protested strongly. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit has taken, has spoken to him, or an angel. Feeling was running high, and the tribune, afraid that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered his troops to go down and pour him out and bring him into the fortress. Next night the Lord appeared to him and said, Courage, you have borne witness for me in Jerusalem. Now you must do the same in Rome. The word of the Lord. And to greet the gospel. May they all be one. Father, may they 
they be one in us, as you are in me, and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them, and you in me. May they be so completely one that the world will realise that it was you who sent me, and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Truly amazing the teaching that we're receiving at the moment from the Gospel of John. This amazing, absolute, total unity between the Father and the Son, the Son and the Father, and we're being called into that, with Jesus living within us through the spirit of our baptism. It takes us back to the importance of the prayer of our Novena, calling for the Holy Spirit to be with us in a new, profound and deep, astounding way. Paul has journeyed from Ephesus in contemporary Turkey, going southwest along the Mediterranean, back to Jerusalem, witnessing to the Lord. And next, he's going to be arrested and begin the journey to Rome. But all the time, he's preaching through the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul did this incredible journey, three journeys around the Mediterranean, and we are called to find in this situation all the opportunities we can to reach out to people. We're doing it with live streamed mass recorded then so people can watch on YouTube. We're doing it through the WhatsApp group, through Zoom, through, as I'm looking at it, the windows of our church and the, the windows above the main front doors with these incredible pictures and drawings telling people our story, telling people how much we are praying for them. But as Pope Francis insists, it's not just my job, it's everyone's job. All the baptised are called to witness in whichever way they can to the new life of Jesus. So look into your day. Who are you going to contact via which means? And how will you use those means just to say, perhaps, I was at the live stream mass, we pray for you. I held you in prayer. Let's pray about that worry that you have right now. Please decide, please fulfill your commitment. Let's offer our prayers. There's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to try and take Alpha online so we can finish the lunchtime one that was stopped due to the lockdown and so we can launch the next one which was meant to have taken place during the, the week after Easter Sunday. 
So let's pray for those who are working so hard to set it up in spite of all sorts of problems and issues we've come across. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those we have been asked to offer prayer for. Two additions are Mary Delaney, who sadly is in hospital with COVID-19, for Doreen, who has gone back into hospital for the second time with pneumonia. And we also remember to pray for Michael Tabet with his injured back and also for Catherine. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for ourselves, for our dispersed parish community, people who are joining our community from all sorts of different places. May we really be aware that we have union through the Spirit in Jesus, in the Father. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who govern us at the moment, the very distinct and strong parliaments are acting slightly differently, or are they called assemblies? We pray for wisdom to guide them for the good of the people, for the suppression of the virus, for the health of our nations. Lord, hear us. We pray for our children and young people in lockdown, so unable to do the things they would naturally do on a beautiful sunny day. So we pray that they will find new and innovative ways to have a great deal of fun in the sunshine in a much smaller area. Lord, hear us. And in silence we offer our personal prayers. Lord, hear us. And may all the dead rejoice in the love of Christ, who accomplishes all that the Father has asked of him. And we remember especially Henry Cudden, whose funeral rites will be celebrated this afternoon, Deacon Brian McCarthy, and Father John Wright. Eternal rest. Grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And if you do have to hand our beautiful novena prayer with the striking imagery of the descent of the Spirit, we'll pray it together now. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with wisdom, love, and courage. Make us more like Christ in all we say and do. Bless the work of your church. Renew us all in the desire to make Jesus known and loved in the world today. Bless the work of our parish. Guide us in all that we do so that our church is a place of mercy and service for all who are seeking you. Deepen our love for the presence of Jesus in our lives and guide us in prayer as we journey towards Pentecost and work for the Kingdom of God. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. So as I prepare the altar table for the offering of the gifts, please, in whichever way you can, wholeheartedly 
offer yourself, your family, your home, your relatives to the Lord to be drawn into union. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit on the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit on the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which 
will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. <laughs> we have received the Spirit through our baptism, the gracious gift of the Father. But we always want to be open to more action and power and encouragement of the Spirit. So through the Spirit, with our brother Jesus, we pray to the Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. We 
Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. join in the refrain of a very beautiful communion song. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us 
through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. So we'll celebrate Mass together on Sunday at 10 a.m. and then throughout the day there is the Rosary Rally organised by the bishops of the Diocese of Scotland, Wales and England. And Shrewsbury along with two other dioceses will be praying at 2 p.m. So please join us at 2 p.m. and hopefully we can make it work so we have several voices leading the glorious mysteries the five different voices and then you can also participate through the live streaming but it would be so much easier if everyone joined zoom all you have to do is send me an email have zoom in the subject box i'll send you a link and then you simply follow the downloading instructions it's really really easy we had two new people last night for adult formation so please just send me an email and then we can connect to zoom it will take 100 different requests so there could be many hundreds of people but there will be 100 other computer links the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go in peace glorifying the lord by your life. Correct myself, it doesn't have to be a computer, it can be a phone or a tablet and I guess other stuff. So let's continue singing 210 and we'll sing 345. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger Thank you. 